I'm making sauerbraten. And what sauerbraten is, it's basically a German pot roast. It's sweet and soury. That's why they call it sauerbraten. Um, it's, it's delicious. And I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to start off with a five pound rump roast. You can use also a top round or bottom round. It's usually pretty clear on the packaging. This is about five pounds. Um, this is a perfect Sunday dinner type of dish. So the meat has to marinate for a little while first. I'm going to show you the marinade. I'm going to put it together right here in this bowl. I have three cups of water. Very simple marinade. I have three cups of white vinegar. This is where you're gonna get the sour, sourness. I have a tablespoon of pickling spice, which is a whole combination of little spices, juniper berries and bay leaves and all sorts of things that comes pre-mixed pickling spice, one tablespoon. I'm going to add two bay leaves and I have in here eight whole cloves, not ground, and eight peppercorns whole, not ground, so they go in. Very spicy, delicious flavors. And then I have one medium to large onion, just sliced. You don't have to get fancy, this is just for the marinade. And I also have one carrot, just sliced. That is it. Um, once I make this marinade, I'm going to put it on the stove and bring it to a boil, and then it has to cool so it's at room temperature, maybe even put it in the fridge before we combine it with the meat. Now I have boiled the marinade. It's come to a boil and I simmered it for five minutes. It's completely cooled. So now I'm gonna combine it with our meat. So the marinade goes in. And the beef will go in. And then as this pot is what you want to be sure of, if you look in the pot, you want to have the meat at this point completely covered. So I'm going to fill the remainder of this up with water. You could use half water, half vinegar, just to get it to cover the meat. And then this needs to marinate. This is to your taste. The longer it marinates, the more flavor, more pungent the meat is going to be in the end. So you can do it couple hours you can do it up to five days it has to be in your refrigerator covered okay so that's to your taste you'll have to play around with that so I'm gonna fill this up with water to cover the meat I'm gonna put it in the fridge and let it marinate for a little while then we'll come back and start cooking the beef our beef has been marinating for about four hours you can do this up to three to five days. It has to be in the refrigerator and covered. I've already poured off some of our liquid, so I don't have to have a big pot of liquid to drain off. So take our meat out of the pot, set it aside. And what I'm going to do is drain the rest of the liquid that I left in here, which is water and vinegar from all of our spices. Need a little help here. Sorry, it's a big pot. Okay, so now we have that separated. Okay, now we're gonna start to cook our meat. The first thing we're gonna do is I have about four slices of bacon here that I chopped up. They're gonna now go in the pot. I'm gonna put the pot on the stove, cook the bacon till it's crispy. Then I will add the beef brown the beef, and then we'll add the liquid that's left from our marinade, put it in the pot, and we'll start cooking. This needs to cook a minimum of four, four and a half, five hours. It has to be fork tender. So I'm going to get the bacon cooking. In this pot, I have the bacon, and I decided to add the onions to brown them with the bacon. Why not? That just, to me, made total sense. So I have the onions and the bacon in here. They're nice and brown. Our meat is going in to start the cooking process. Goes right in. I'm just gonna smush it around, put the onions and the bacon to the side a little bit. So I will brown this meat on all sides. Once it's browned, remember our liquid that we strained, our marinade, it's in this bowl right here. We strain the vegetables off, the onions and the carrots and the spices. So it's just the vinegar and the water with all the flavorings. Once this is brown, I'll pour this on top, 
I'll put a nice tight cover on and this will be cooked stovetop, low, low heat for about four and a half to five hours until this is fork tender. Then we make the gravy, then we get to eat it. So off to brownie. It's time to finish up the sour brat. And now I'm making the gravy for it, which to me, it's really all about the gravy. So what I have in this pot is some butter that I'm going to melt together with some flour. You can find this recipe on the time in the kitchen on the web. And then I'm gonna add a little sugar, and this is why you have to watch this. This is a roux, most don't have sugar, but because, as I explained, the sour braten is a sweet and sour type of dish, it, this is the little sweetness, but the sugar will burn if you let it go too, too much. I'm gonna make this into a roux, and then if you remember, I have my hot marinating cooking sauce right here. This is warm. So when the flour is cooked together with the butter, it'll be clumpy. Then I'm going to whisk in this hot sauce. I'm also going to add some golden raisins, which I soaked in water, so they're not hard anymore. They're soft and plumpy. And then I'm going to squeeze in some lemon juice. And then I'm going to add the gravy onto the, um, the beef, and our dish is done. So I'm going to put this on the stove, melt this, and then add the hot stock. The flour is melted with the butter. Now I'm gonna add the hot stock to start making our gravy. This is pretty much the way you make any gravy. And I'll whisk that in. This will go back on the stove and cook a little more. Okay, so I'll keep adding a little bit of this. And then I'm gonna add the raisins I was explaining earlier. They're just plumped up, so they'll go in. About a half a cup. I've got more than a half a cup here, I think. And then I'm gonna squeeze in some lemon juice. That's gonna give you that nice sour flavor that we're looking for at this dish. Half a lemon. And this is to taste. You can add more lemon juice, less lemon juice. It's really up to you. You know, all these things you can play around with. This isn't baking, so you can change things up to your liking. And my last ingredient that's gonna go in here are some ginger snap cookies. I didn't make them. And what you're gonna do with the ginger snap cookies is we're gonna just crush them and they'll like break down in your gravy. So I'm gonna add I don't know, about four or five. That's to taste too, if you want more. Have more, if you want less, use less. Um, they'll start making the gravy all creamy. And this is gonna go back on, and then I'm gonna add it to the meat, and we're gonna serve it. So this is the last step. Okay, it's all coming together. It's the moment we've been waiting for, at least I have been. We got egg noodles cooked here. The beef is done, the gravy's done, so I'm gonna plate up right out of the pot, because that's probably what I would do if I was at my house. Beef is tender. This is a man's portion right here. You can have more gravy, less gravy, whatever you like. I'm going to top it with a little sour cream. You had some parsley, you could put some of that on top, but I'm going how with how this is. Oops. So sour and I hope you tried it. It's very delicious and I think your family will love it.